let's consider the possibility that the same phenomenon that is responsible for dark matter is responsible for dark energy. The phenomenon I'm referring to is the change in the fluctuation of space, which fluctuation of space, when it phases, there's an equal and opposite relative change in dimension. The phasing creates a positive change in dimension and a negative change in dimension. The negative change in dimension has a gravitational component and creates the effect we see, creates the effect we recognize as dark matter. The positive change in dimension is the effect we recognize as dark energy. Now dark matter, so why do we have this expansion in the universe when there's a gravitational increase, there's a component with a gravitational increase and a component that is just, as it creates a positive change in dimension, pushes space outward. The reason why the gravitational component does not cancel out the increase in the, does not overcome the expansion of space, is that the gravitational component has, does not interact with the change, the positive change in the shape of space. The gravita gravitational component does, however, interact with existing mass, objects with, exist objects with existing objects with mass.